Hi, welcome back to another fabulous stream. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, welcome back to Jacob's he is Jacob Plays, and today we're playing the second part of Alan Wake 2. So my goal tonight is to play chapters three and four. Uh, I looked it up. Looks like it's gonna be like two hours, two or three hours. Um, we might play the next chapter depending on how I feel. Also, if you can see the more green than normal, I am sitting in complete darkness with a ring light right there. And if I go any further down, like, it becomes way obvious. And so I, I still want to be lit for you. But that's the next point. Uh, also, give everybody a heads up. I do have ads supposedly going to be running throughout the stream. Uh, so, if we are during a moment, I will. I can try to to uh, to do it. Doesn't look like I can't. I can't really tell to be honest with you if they're on or not. If they're not on here, they will probably be on soon. So I just wanted to to put that out there before we get started playing tonight. It doesn't look like they are. So that's fine. I was kind of only trying to do ads like that when I play like Sims and stuff. Games like this, I like to be able to show you guys the whole thing. And I don't know when we'll, we do ads, but I would have to figure it out, obviously. That being said, I'm going to try to get into my little corner and get comfortable. And we can jump into into game. Uh, the last episode ended with us finding Alan Wake, the man himself, the man, the legend, uh, on the beach, washed up from shore. Also talking about um, the evil version of him writing the script, which is something I should have probably thought was going to happen. Ads do look like they're turned on, by the way. The first one's in about five minutes. Let's see how that goes. We'll see. I'll keep my, my, my finger on the trigger. <laughs> and, and we can see. But that being said, let's go ahead and jump over into here. Um, yeah, okay. We are playing on the PlayStation 5. It's my first time ever playing. I don't have the energy turned off. We'll see if I regret this in the future. And let's go. Andrew, where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working and then said... Sorry, the sound seems to goof it off when I'm there. Um, yeah, no, not a good place I want to go to reboot here. Okay. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. a dark place no it can't be i got out that's so weird yes the pi from your book has the same name as me great moving on it's a bit of a hike this car wake get your bearings then we'll head out i just i, I need another minute I thought I'd never see this place again. Take your time. But you should know these woods aren't the safest. Yeah. Uh, it's getting dark. Do you want to swap places? Not safe without a light. Uh, hold on. I'm not entirely sure what my goal here is. Option to investigate the previous flooded area. Oh, we definitely want to. You must keep them and keep them safe. Our lives could depend on it. Ooh. Get vital information. You know about that was unintentional. We'll keep an eye on this place. Give me a moment. Okay. Take your time.
Okay, can't knock it again. Alright. Good to know. Not to mention, I definitely feel like I missed that conversation. But just go ahead and start over. No harm. And continue to open up to the previous chapter, and then I, I'll continue. So. Let's figure this out on the case board. Alright, let's see what we got. Bong clicking. Suddenly the radio stopped working and then that flooding just disappeared. Crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Waite. Mr. Waite, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there right after I take a look around. If okay. the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Okay, okay. Alex Casey? How? Am I still there? Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. Oh, I can walk pretty far over here. Yes, but up the sky is so full of mystery that these days it's gray moving on. I don't know if there's like any way to do like investigation checks. Bit of a hike in the car. I mean, doing it. With your weapon, but you know, I can't really use that. It could be on the other side. Take your time, but you should know these woods aren't the safest. Yeah, uh, let's just go over here. Maybe I just need some bigger material. We're not gonna... Okay. I feel like the deer is important. Okay, two things I'll say is, the word blade crashed on the far side of the mirror, I thought it be the heart for which Shane would kill her. Where is the heart? The heart is in the fridge, and the brain is there again. Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? Well, I would say the writer is. What kind of case is this? Mystery solving and then coming up with weird answers. Something about this makes all the sense to someone like. Okay. everything I don't want to leave because I definitely feel like 
there's something to it. Oh, those buttons. Weird. Oh well. Maybe the thing I need to find doesn't sound as weird. Here. A creepy twig sculpture. Okay, okay, I'm kind of scared. Okay, oh, I guess that maybe has linked to both. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Notes and ammo. Uh, Looks like they're tools of the trade. The cult doesn't see their victims as people. Okay. That looks like a flare to me. Oh, do I do it through this? I could do it the other side too. Who knows? Okay, so that is definitely a hand flare. A propane tank. Do I want to end up in this place? Maybe. Um, oh, shotgun ammo for a shotgun I don't have. Cool. Why wouldn't that happen? Let's see how many we get in this. Shotgun ammo. Sometimes that's a pretty good clear indication that a shotgun is right around the corner. However. Oh, I can actually go up there though. And I saw more of them. Okay. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. All right. And then let's go to the tree. Turn it up this way. Mm. That's what they call them. Doesn't look right. Okay, well this one definitely. does feel very derivative, I would have to agree. Could be a cool ant nest. No, it's not maybe. Go as far as it's saying. It doesn't make sense. I hope I got the iron ore bars. Okay, so So it says we have an option to continue to go up
back to the car. Hey, Casey, what's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson, just one case without the rid A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. Had to have been this one, I think. Where's this trucker's piece of shit? Alright, let's go back to the other side. I'm sure I'm spending way too much time on this. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I do. Alright. I think maybe that uh, invisible ledge was like a little bit too wide. Possibly. I'm pretty sure I saw I found a pig here. That was a thing. This was the other beach. The thing I found here was the animal. I guess the thing with the animal is that it's too divided for its investigation. And yet, I very much do. That's fine. Well. Should look around. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection oh, to the overlap. How are you? To Nightingale. Welcome to stream. I see the McDonald. This looks like a ledge I should be able to climb, but I can't climb. Good. I'm doing actually pretty good. Um, <laughs> I was a bit frazzled before starting, but the uh, uh, game you know, screwed me back in, which is great. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. The only thing I'm here is the deer and until then go to Derek and stuff. I guess we can continue onwards. Uh, hopefully I found all the things I needed to find. It's so good so far. Um, I absolutely love the, like, the opening so, so much. So different and very, like, uh, creative, I think. I don't like the original one. It was, like, one of my favorite games for, like, the longest amount of time. Because, one, you don't really find a lot of games about authors and things, but I just really liked a lot of the psychological elements. I think they did it so well, and they just, like, plus themselves so much with the sequel, it seems like. So I'm really excited to deep dive into uh, the story and all that fun stuff. 
at the very beginning of chapter three. Uh, yes, for the microphone or for the game? Good spit song. I'm gonna get you all those things in there. Give me one second, I'll be back. This helps. Let me try to withdraw. Okay, higher it. Just a little bit though. Also higher the main volume. Because this is only stuff to help. Let me know. The did it? Oh, no, no. Can't tell if that wolf is trying to kill me or not, I feel like. Answer questions. One second. Even the animals are turning into monsters. I uh, no, I do not. I'm actually usually a sim streamer. <laughs> uh, I've been picking up some variety games here lately, and uh, Alan Wake Two. Like we just got done playing Spider Man Two. That was the the latest one, but. I, uh, I don't like two is one of my most anticipated games. So, for games like this and things like that, I like to record my reaction to them, and it's always fun to stream them. And so, but I'm normally a sim streamer. Uh, we're also playing Sons of Sacrifice. I just started that. I don't think that's coming out, but and we'll probably finish that before we finish Alan um, Wake Two. I don't know what we're gonna jump into next. Um. My brother just gave me Assassin's Creed Mirage. So we might play that next. That's a, a, a definite possibility. I'm just not a hundred percent sure. What we go after this one. We do play some horror games and stuff. Um, I can't think of what the next one's going to be. It'll probably be a little bit. But we do play some horror games. Because I do, I do like uh, horror. The, probably the next one will probably be the remaster of Last of Us Part 2. Which I think has the, the verge of being like... Uh, it is a horror game. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I think it's, it's a different own variation of that. But when that comes out the in January, supplies around for themselves. I I'll probably end up. Wonder what's inside. Um, I should take a look stream. around for a way to open this thing. Okay, so this is a different lock. Okay. Well, guess we'll look around and we'll see if we can't find a key. Are arrows, which is not a thing. Mm. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and read the battery. Oh. Mm. I guess I'll follow the arrows. Crazy. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Where did you go? I know I said I follow the arrows, but my curiosity just gets to me. I probably shouldn't go get lost in the woods, though, to be fair. There's a bridge. Uh, oh, this is part of an area I have never been to. Interesting. I do not. I only stream on Twitch, I have been half tempted to stream simultaneously both on Twitch and on to YouTube, on to um, my VOD channel, but I, I haven't committed to that, so at the moment it's just, just on Twitch. I sometimes stream There's something written here. on, um, a poem or a riddle. on my Sims channel and things, but, uh, reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. Okay, hold on. One bird for light, two for darkness, three birds for a fight, four for a struggle, five birds for energy, six for misery, seven for the ending, because it never means to me. Oh, okay, so it looks like maybe we have to place things. Mm. Oh, cool, thanks. Yeah, I tried my hardest tonight. I did an update over there. But I do try to, to let everybody know on, because um, I know how, like, Serratic, uh Twitch can be when it comes to like sending out notifications and things. So I I, I tend to use uh, Twitter the most to send out app notifications. The audio is so good. Such a good sound design. The camera. I want to go exploring. I kind of do. Oh <coughs> uh, yeah, for for sure. Um, I can do it uh, later. Oh, cool. I think there's another one up here. Another one of those rhymes. The hair of the raven strong were home to right or wrong. From the woods came the wolf, so greedy and hungry he ate. What he found in the house was without, without a host. The hero returned to find that she lost the thing she loved the most. Well, that's fucking sad. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Can can you inform me of your dream? Because that might be important. I'm just going to be honest with you. Okay, does that have a fucking axe? Why is he... Oh? Lots of like blocks and things. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's the key. 
Oh my gosh, did it go off? I'm so sorry. I don't have it plugged in. Thank you so much for the follow. Yes, it did. Thank you so much. Glad you're enjoying stream. Not a problem. Weird. Okay. Very interesting. Continuing onward. A lot of stuff up here. Oh my god, that's so cute! The kitty cat! Oh. Uh, research into reality artifacts and quantum realizing fiction that are source. Oh wow. Okay. A little clothes pin doll. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. Okay. Mm yeah, you know, that's normal. Take things from a house that's not yours. Okay, it's just a bathroom. Oh, no one took a shit. Continuing onwards. Okay. Looks like something that could probably go on the outside. Alright, let me see what's out here. You are more than free to join the Discord, yes. Of course. I'm trying my I'm trying harder to uh, say a little bit more. Uh, trying to stay more active over there. I won't lie. I mean, it's not my strongest suit. Just because it's not something I use, like, as often. But I'm trying to get a little bit better at it, for sure. I'm gonna go back to the arrows. We did good enough exploring for today. <coughs> ah, pika pika. Cool. It's very small. Partially just because I, I, like I said, I just don't use it as much as I should. I have. Never really, uh, yeah, that's why. Really had reasons. Uh, I'm. Me and Pokemon have an interesting relationship, to be honest with you. I like Pokemon. I have nothing against Pokemon. But I have a little sister who is 11, and Pokemon is her entire, like, it's her favorite thing in the entire world. So I have to experience a lot of it. And so it has dwindled my, my love. Like, not like. A bunch, but some has dwindled my love some. For sure. Today's catch fail for Jesus. More full of food. Uh, weird. Yeah, but she is obsessed. We got a lot of Pokemon stuff for for uh, Christmas this year. And things that and dragons. 
so I, I could hear a lot about dragons, and I get to see a lot about Pokemon. Okay, heroes. Follow the arrows to right here, where the Psychies are. That's cool. Mm. Oh, that's not disturbing. Is this not the normal? Well, the color of me comes to become blooded. My eye would somehow get lost. Okay, so we killed the deer. Actually, we can look at some stuff while we're in safety. You're welcome. I think that's really cool. Like you said, definitely. I'm sure there's people out there who are who are very interested in that type of thing. Uh, nursery rhymes. Creepy dolls. Mysterious rhymes. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. I would agree with that. So cool. All right. Starting with me. Um, Golden Rope Rhymes. Rain Dog. Wait, okay. Um, oops. Thank you to find your patient from the fire as well. Okay, this Keep one. trying. Nope. something I want. Okay. Oh. Very well. Oh, God. It's not. Oh, I didn't see the fourth one down here. Mm. Tripod, some kind of experiment. Next thing being, so there are several points of interest. There's one up here by the witch's hut, and then General Sore has several. And so it looks like if we go maybe this way. Yes. And then we go to the witch's hut that way. The little remote. Uh, this way. <coughs> yes. Okay, so. I'm sorry, hello? I guess we should probably save <laughs> while we're here. Do not think about that. I do not play Fortnite. I've never played Fortnite in my life. Interestingly enough. I'm definitely against Fortnite. I was somewhat interested after I saw Free Guy because it has a similar vibe, but I never I never play it.
Bravo. Something on here. Ah, it's you. Oh, who are you? Not ready to do it yet. That's okay. <coughs> Are you a big Fortnite player? Hey, the wrong button. Alright, where do you want to go? Zeno Stora? Yes. Cool. Thank you. Why does he want me to be a junior at this level? What do you mean? I'm not sure I understand the question. Okay. Like the same dude as my sister. Dang, my sister. Mm. Mm. Uh, should I put the Fortunate at the counter. Only fortunate at the counter. Seven and five, seven and three, seven and seven, three, two, three. Are you talking about like how I'm the variety streamer? Okay. So that is that's good. No, no. Okay, sorry, I'm just uh, No, you're all good, I'm just trying to understand. Five, seven, three, seven, one, seven. Okay, that's wrong. Seven, one, five, seven, one, three. Seven, one, seven, seven, two, three, seven, three, nine, or seven, four, five. Yeah, I, 
that's very important. Uh, it's connected to, uh, the account. Three, eight, four, five? That's not right. No, not. Ah. Oh, my friend JavaScript is not appearing. I do, yes. Um, <laughs> it's mostly uh, because I'm gay, you know, that plays a big factor. I love the rainbow. Okay. Back into the sun. We're back into here and we'll go to the Really? I've seen many of a rainbow in my real life, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, okay, I really need a car to park. I think we can go. Yeah, there's the car. Okay, so we can do the cut path, which is which would be interesting. Very beautiful. I know you're one not supposed to go to Definitely the opposite direction. the car Anderson how's it going down there I think I'm done here Whew. I'll meet you at the parking lot Oh, 
Things up here. Oh. Okay. Let me apply gravity. Yeah, let's just open to anybody who wants to join. I don't really have anybody in particular then and you know. Always open to you guys. So I don't really promote it on my YouTube. I should promote it more on my YouTube. So stupid such shit at it though. Um, I normally don't, but I, I can start Here getting into the groove of doing it. And that's probably, um, a very smart thing to do. So, I'll start getting into the groove of doing it. I'll update that, and I'll update Twitter. Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom, before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slept. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. What about your father on the phone? Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hon. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Uh, like, is that? Oh, there is an ad. While she starting. Could have drowned. In like three Did minutes. Uh, that was my water bottle. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's uh, just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me <laughs> Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. He will reference. Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Want to say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Oh, the lodge? Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. 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 They'd be in danger. It is, uh... Okay, 125 in the morning for me, Let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. I guess happy Thanksgiving if Dark you celebrate this year. Back then. Yes, technically that's... That's the last time I saw him. Is 13 is years. Tell us about the pages. You have what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's, it's, it's a crazy jumble, like a, like a nightmare. I, <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. I remember. 
what? I mean, by the way, the ad is starting. Just want to give you guys a heads up. But, uh, that's a new one. Yeah. up in places with no memory of how it got there it was out of control i didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids had i already done the show was that a recording okay it looks like this is yep okay here we go i guess into the television Uh, hi, Alan. <laughs> okay. It'd be fucking insane if I could control this actual human being. Exciting time for you. But tell me, does it ever get old? Oh no, it's it's from Supergirl. Um, he plays. What is that called? What is that called? Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writers' room for a few too many years. This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to this picture. You left us on quite the cliff. Oh, Corgi. My favorite thing in the entire world. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. It's really me. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves uh. tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story wait this isn't right i i haven't written anything he's so hard okay you got me good prank very like funny. i said i will i'm currently streaming yeah, i don't i don't accept say, replies while i'm streaming not written this. it takes I me out of the game and stuff book, right? or maybe it was written by your evil double Spot on playing the role here, pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. Very meta indeed. Yeah, this is See, very meta. Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book huh. is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger, guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right. Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with autofiction? No, but seriously, I found the uh, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. Okay. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there. And he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, yeah, I guess. That's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? <laughs> we all in your story, Sam? I, 
I wish you every success with your new book, Alex. What the I fuck? I hope successful as your best-selling Alex Casey. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. Huh. Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alex. All this talk of metaverse. I'm expecting to disappear once this scene ends. <laughs> Oh shit. Hello? I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home to Alice. No, Alice is dead. I hate to break it to you. My hat. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. Uh, what was the green ring you were doing? Old Gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? These doors. No, no, I can back. Back to the stage we go. Uh, oh, thank you. Close it so I can like still come through. What the Alright, let's 
Isn't a flashlight? What? No, that's a microphone. Okay, let's go. I guess we'll go through and look inside the wrench again. Happy streaming of 665. You were not a beast. Can I see it? Lovely. Too close to 666 for my liking, to be fair. There was something here. Broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Oh, impossible to say. Okay. It was like four or five days ago, but you did it with your other account. Is probably the reason why. There was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. Fucking right. Okay. felt familiar a ghost of a memory surfaced about riding here for countless days <laughs> a plot board for mapping out a story on the index cards the nightmare that just happened to me a summary of the story so far but other notes as well oh thank you babies i had written that and No sweet the name scratch had a ring of dread. Strickland family have already been a part of I could trust these you. words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. That's four. I guess I have to talk to I thought of some more. Uh I turned to escape the evil memory. Whatever this memory is trying to use to the story of what I expect to make of <laughs> yeah, 
Okay, I thought it was a pretty good name too. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I used my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the I'm depths there. of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Did we really go backwards in time? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're too kind. Yes, I did. Welcome back. Uh, we have a great show for you here tonight. We have three quality Alex Casey fans out there. Alex Casey himself is here tonight. The great Sam Lake, ladies and gentlemen. The actor who has given his face to the famous detective in the film series. And, of course, we have Alan Wake here. The best-selling writer, books, the films, all big stars. Let's do this! Welcome this back is to fucking the show. trippy. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? Well, I know it can be an awkward question to the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? <laughs> he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, oh my god, uh, the voice. What's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Oh. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. Okay. This city was an old scar. It needed the sun, but there was only night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain slick window. My own reflection haunted the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only oh. clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. Definitely sounds like Alan's writing. That's great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp?
think you changed the code, Alan. Could have made this really easy for us, Alan. that we're still being hunted. Hello? You know what? I'm not a big believer in asking hellos. We can come back here whenever we want. So much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. Okay. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> what do you want me to get from the basement? A and my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but a cut up a man's a man, but a man with a two makes two, Tom. <laughs> and a man with a two can build his own exit. It's in a shoe box in the basement where you left it. Uh, okay. <laughs> 
safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Arthur, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Mm -hmm. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. Okay. That's what we're trusting. like this town. But I guess it's fine. That's a really dark way. lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? What is this? The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. Okay. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. jumped into my lap. The whole room changed, like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. I felt another surge from the lamp. I guess the glow in the lamp went out, Whoa. shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. That's so cool. Through. 
Here we go. Let's see. So fucking fast. wants to drown me i'm losing myself i have to fight it i have to remember the clicker the you. light switch i lost it oh my god but i have the lamp now the lamp the switch was cut from this place is a nightmare not real and yet more real than anything the danger and the horror are real it feeds up my mind twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality i'm trapped here I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral into darkness. I dive to the bottom to find the answer, the, the map, the key, the compass, to find, to pull the door leading out. I have to open the door to study the door, at the bottom of an ocean, it's not an ocean, and a lake. Oh. Okay, hold on.
trying to figure out where we're at. There's like no way out of here. Phone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Okay, now. Hello? Hello, Wake? Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. Okay. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Alan, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. Okay. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You just forgot again. We're in it together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. Great. I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? <laughs> so pretty. Man had said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. Okay, well, straight ahead. Caldera Street Station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. stirred like there was someone there but there was no one I wanted to keep it that way the lamp was dead in my hand I needed to find a light for it Apparently.
Is this the way it was on the page? What the hell? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. We met at Door's show. Alan Wake, the writer. Yeah. I'm Alex Casey. I'm looking into a murder. Come on, what? What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm. This was an echo of the books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. Yep. I had a light now. I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. Shit. With the alley in darkness now, less of the shadows blocked my way. didn't they were trying to stop me with the gun and flashlight i could use fight r2 back. to shove any black thing <laughs> okay that works looks like there can be a, another ad about the plant Use the light to open the subway entrance now. Yeah. We sure can. Okay, I'll
I needed to find another light to go deeper inside. Another light, like have me go back upstairs type of thing, because like I don't know if you could do that. Okay. Don't know if I really have a situation for this. Can I go with a goat? this shoe box possibly good to know good to know Oh my god. You snuck up on me. Sorry. Have we met? Memory problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map if you want to take a look. You still haven't found my mystery man, though. Uh. You're making a map? Trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light, but never the one thing I'm looking for. Cheers. Feel free to check the map out. Oh, I've been stockpiling supplies while I poke around. If you find a stash, take anything you need. I appreciate the help. Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. That's true. 
All I have is a name. Warlandor. A talk show host? No. No, that doesn't sound like him. The guy has many disguises, but a talk show host? No. I'll keep looking. Oh, it's a, it's a talk show host. With the braces. Crazy wall. I'm just trying to make sense of things. No Don't judge me. Crazy walls any day. Who am I? I don't think I'm in the mood to analyze what we can get here. Talk to the audience today. No time for any more UFOs. That's a big part of the beginning part two was the UFOs. Makes sense to you. Maybe this helps. So I take it. I take the light. Then I run for it. If this is the way of even here anymore. Yeah, so let's just make it there.
to click here while we're here. Out of dodge, The gates to the platform were closed. I had a ticket. Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Something lingered here. A half-forgotten memory. An echo. Something was here. A vision about to reveal itself. I needed to look at it from the right angle. Inviting me to draw an obscene picture on the city map. Caldera Street Station. The name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet. I had a flash of inspiration. The ghost of my fictional detective. A story thread I could use in my writing. I had a location. I had a story thread. I would put them together. Write them into my story to create a path deeper into the dark place. Um, okay, click. Things clicked into place. The story rang true. I was making progress. Huh? The dark place reacted to my story. The way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. The Fed had glimpsed into the maw of darkness. It swallowed him whole. Uh -huh. The tracks led into the tunnel. That was my way forward. Yeah, I guess so. Wait. The blood trail continued deeper into darkness.
people started to use it too soon and only for free to get through the switcher. Should be on me. Tell me that. Okay. <gasps> I don't like the sound of that. I don't either. Let's do a quick. Situation could be good. Also, possibly more fog light tubes, which could be very helpful. The tunnels were a maze. The blood trail led me on. Okay, so it requires a light. Another place to use in the story. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration for the story that would lead me deeper. I had a new idea for a scene. It changed the story. And with that, the dark place changed. Famous writer, 
Alan Wake? They're unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. over and over the words resonated with meeting had i written this mm, we go we found the research assignment in the Did not discover the map that we're in. Well, look. Uh, okay. Alright. Reloading the store takes each second. Oh, it's just five to ten percent chance of falling here. of inspiration. in the story this way but I was desperate and it felt right for the story federal agent had come here looking for answers. All he found was a I was safe. But the restless shadows would return. The water was gone. The way forward was open.
Idea. A new story thread. Hmm. I don't know if I want to activate that. the scene to see and understand it in order to change it. The train blocked my way forward, but it was here for a reason. It had a role to play. The new scene I had found was important for the story. Anything from here would make my way to get out of trouble. Changed the story, and with that, the dark place changed. I do not think I can scroll on here. The cult poured the gasoline over the train car, an iron cage that would soon become a coffin. Torchbearers living in the tunnels. They lock the poor folks up in a derailed subway car. Bows it in gasoline. Yeah. Charming. It turns into a bit of a ghost story after that. They say the dark smoke from the fire still roams the tunnels searching for new victims to devour. Cool. There are no happy endings in this city. The story thread felt important. I could use it in one of the scenes I found. a new beat for the story.
Holy fuck no. My path was blocked. I had to find a way through. The lights would help me. Yeah. Seems like a kitten.
Oh, this is fucking tricky. Echoing Hall had a story to tell. Echoes. Yeah, I can't hear the poplars. I had found another compelling location to use. That's the most interesting part, is building a story. Also, I'm currently doing it. Here I am. Cultists were close now, a dark presence rising from the depths. was a vital part of the story, the key to reaching the murder site. This new plot beat would carry me deeper into the story.
if you like try to creep up across not lock the doors, but definitely if you like creep up if you can. Logically that makes sense to me, but no, I'm still gonna close the door. No, this is just not even in there properly. This wall is going back on it. Probably also go to this too. Complete the ritual in the past tomorrow. Okay. Do you think that's my first death in the game? Interesting.
I see the issue. The tunnel was open. Fuck me. Sorry, my eyes were small. The dark presence. I had seen it before. I remembered now. It was always out there. My word. Hunting me. to home. to escape. I'm making progress, but I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me. Please, help me. I could sense it. I was closer to home. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Something had changed outside. Parliament Tower, where I had lived with Alice. It was out there, waiting for me. Huh. We're not going to play the next one. Uh, I was just. I was curious to see if it went back or not. Uh, it, it doesn't seem like it. That's fine. No issue there. It's for me, personally. Okay, right, that being said, that's the next part of Alan Wake 2. We uh, played chapter 3 and 4. It took me a, a, a bit longer. Mostly because I didn't really realize where chapter 3 ended. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's what I meant. Also, I spent way too much time looking for work, and I think that also played a big factor. That being said, we'll continue on and we'll do four and five next. Uh, whenever I can play this again, I don't know. I know I'm not going to stream again today on Thursday because today is Thanksgiving and I want to be with family and things. I, yeah, normally I don't stream on Thursday. 
so I'll see you guys tomorrow, but I think tomorrow I have to remind Ethan Sims to kind of get back into The Sims to gear up for the new expansion. So I think that's a high possibility. Being said, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm talking to you. Bye-bye.